How's it going, guys? How's everybody doing? This is Hambone here with another Hambone movie review. I was able to go see In a Violent Nature, just like you guys, man. I can't go to every movie, but I go whenever I can, and I like to just talk about uh, some of these movies that I go see. And the big question is, In a Violent Nature, do you want to big screen it, stream it, or ditch it? We'll find that out right after this. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. It sound right, boys. But here we go, guys. In a violent nature, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about when it comes to this movie. Uh, number one, first and foremost, and this is one of those things, I might give out spoilers here and there. This is not heavy spoilers. I still want people to be able to see this and make that judgment call on whether or not to go see this in the movie theater or watch it on streaming because I know how hard it is for you guys. Single father here, it's real tough to get out there and go to the movies because uh, it costs so much money, man. It keeps going up in price and everything else. So you have to actually like make decisions on whether or not you want to go to the movies or not. But first thing about this film, the concept of this film is great. I just want you to imagine watching Friday the 13th. But instead of following the stupid campers around and everything else, you actually just follow pretty much 95% of this movie, maybe a little bit uh, less, like 92, 93% of this movie. You follow around the killer. You follow around Jason, just basically a camera over his shoulder as he's walking to his destinations, as he's doing what he's doing which I found was very intriguing. The main reason why I went and saw this movie was because of that, okay? One of the best concepts I've seen in a while. That's something that I probably would have came up with. I've always wanted to see a movie based on a serial killer's point of view. And there's some out there that are close, but I'm talking about to the point to where you almost never leave the serial killer, where it's almost them all the time from their point of view and everything else. But yeah, the concept of this movie was great. I thought that they did the concept well. Number two, the second thing I want to talk about, the violence and gore was there. Yes, it was. And, and if you are uh, if you love the violence, you love the gore, it is there. I don't think it was overly done. There were a couple of, you know, kills that, that were, although may have been dramatic in a certain sense, didn't cause for like a lot of gory blood uh, involved in it. But then there also was a couple of these kills that was pretty graphic that people may talk about for days to come when it comes to like that kind of thing. So if you like that kind of thing, you definitely are going to be hooked up on this. It's going to be something good and great for you. I like gore to a certain point, as long as it's done in a correct way. I do think this movie does it in the correct way, because like I said, it's not just gore to be gory. Uh, you know, every time they get a chance, there's like a, a one kill. They don't show you exactly what happens at the beginning. And then there's like another kill that doesn't really involve any blood the way that the uh, murder happens. So you really don't see a whole lot there and, and everything else. But it's there. Just a warning. You don't like gore. You're probably not going to like this movie. Uh, another thing is uh, in this film, like it was just weird. It, like I said, it's a concept that I've you know thought about. Like, man, what if we followed Jason around? Or what if we fo followed Michael Myers around and everything else? Uh, and it it kind of worked for me. Like, uh, you would assume because you're not with characters that are talking, there's not a lot of dialogue in this movie. Because let's face it, you're following, like I said, basically Jason Voorhees. Guess what happens in a Jason Voorhees movie? Jason Voorhees don't talk very much. So you don't get a lot of dialogue and everything. And you don't even get a huge amount of story uh, with the campers, there's a couple of scenes here and there. You hear them talking. You can you understand what they're going through. I, I think the biggest thing that the campers have in this film uh, is like they're doing the old school, like sitting around a fire as friends. And then like one guy knows a story that's happened around there. It's like a scary story like that, that might scare the people and everything else. But it was supposed to be based on like a true story, which all campfire horror stories are. They're all based on a true story, guys. Let's don't like get it twisted or anything but with that being said like just the camera angle being behind this guy he's doing his thing and it's like bro like it, it was sometimes like very creepy 
just knowing what's coming or seeing what's coming and just uh, the, the footsteps of him walking in the woods was like in some ways creepier than having some uh, a creepy score or a creepy like soundtrack happening. So I give them props. I thought they did that very well. I think this it's one of those things that in this movie, because it is following someone uh, that doesn't do a no talking at all, period. And that is pretty much quiet the whole time besides like when uh, he's walking around and stuff like you can hear is like because uh, he's a big dude. So you can hear like his footsteps thudding, you know, and everything else. So it's it's I liked it, but I can understand why some people that go to see the movie is like, all right, cool, whatever. Maybe they think it's boring or something. But I actually thought it was pretty creative. It kept me intrigued the whole time. And uh, one of the last points I'll talk about is. This is something that I congratulate people for because this is a movie that is out there taking the chances. They're out there taking a chance that, you know what? Some people's probably not going to like this movie. You know what I'm saying? Some people's going to get bored. Some people, it's not going to intrigue them. But there's going to be a decent amount of people out there. And maybe you can get that market, you know, those people to come and enjoy your movie and, and have a good time and, and everything else. But this is what it looks like. When movies take chances and people talk about all the time, oh, there's nothing original out there. This is original. Yes, yeah, inspired by all the slashers from like the 80s and stuff like that. But it's done in a totally different way. It's new and original when it comes to that. It has its own little story, which, like I said, the, the, the plot and the story in this movie is like not the big thing. I mean, basically, the plot is you following this killer going around killing these people. Is anyone going to escape? Uh, like I said, besides a fire scene. And besides the, the very end of the movie, uh, when you have, uh, you know, one, you know, the human trying to get away, you know, just a regular actor like you're with this guy doing the killing. And like I said, it's really cool. I thoroughly enjoyed it. If you like horror, if you love horror and if you don't mind a little gore in your horror, I really suggest going to the movies and supporting this movie if you've got the funds. Now, with that being said, for most of you guys that doesn't think that concept is cool that doesn't like gore. And like I said, when I say gore, it's not like overly done. So don't think about like watching something stupid, like Tokyo gore police or something like, like it's not that kind of thing, but it does have its moments and it does have its parts of that. But if you're a little afraid to give this movie a chance and don't want to go to the theaters to it, definitely stream it. I think everyone who can stomach a horror film and can stomach a little bit of blood should give this movie a chance. This is definitely not a digit. I say, I recommend going to the movies and seeing it and giving it a chance. So I'm going to say big screen it, but I can understand why some people might want to wait and just stream it. But protect those. I mean, like, like go out there and support the movies that are trying to do things that are a little bit different. You, you might not think you'll like this movie and go in there and be shocked. I didn't know what to think about it. I thought it was a cool idea and I gave it the chance. I'm thoroughly enjoyed that. I took that chance and went and seen it and everything else. Uh, don't take your kids. Don't take your kids. Yeah, I'm looking at some of you be trying to take. Bro, I was in a horror movie one time. Somebody brought their little baby in there, their little baby ass crying. I'm trying to watch like some people die, man. Like, get out of here. I think it was one of the uh, newer Halloweens that I went to the movie theater and saw that that happened too. But man, please like, subscribe, leave your comments down below. If you give this movie a chance and go and watch it, let me know. Would you have recommended the big screen it, stream it, or ditch it? And we'll go from there and have a conversation, man. I always like and try to reply to like every comment that we have on the channel. And I appreciate you guys, the ones that's out there, like watching this stuff. But yeah, give it a violent nature a chance. Until next time, peace. Check the mic and make sure it sounds right, boys. It sounds right, boys.